ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. Good afternoon, everybody. This is a special meeting, a very special meeting. The Arlington School Committee today is Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Yay. It is 2.48 p.m. <laughs> and we have an actual child here. <laughs> two of them. The, two of them. This is wonderful, seeing that we are in the kid business. Would you care to introduce our visitors? This is Raina. Raina. Yeah. Newest little Odyssey bulldog. Oh my Aww. gosh. So stinking little. So sweet. <laughs> small. Yeah. Yeah. Small man. yeah. This is Teddy. And Hi, Teddy. Teddy. Hi. Everybody likes Teddy. How's it doing, bud? How you doing? He's, Good summer? Oh yes. Good. All the fun things. Yeah. This is this is This wonderful. is public comment. <laughs> Raina, what would you have to say about the Odyssey? Do you have any uh, interesting observations? We haven't been there yet, but oh. we are very grateful to have mom home for extra time. Oh, right. See a big difference. How yeah. sweet, yeah. yeah. So our parental leave policy is immediate benefits. Okay, um, so we are hybrid today. Uh, the superintendent and I are the only people here in person. As I call your name, please respond with your presence. Uh, Ms. Exton? Here. Uh, Mr. Carden? Here. Uh, Mr. Thielman? Here. Vice Chair Morgan? Here. And uh, anyone else I need to announce on the field? No. So uh, we have a quorum of the committee. All votes will be taken by roll call. Be careful what you say if your mic is open because it will be broadcast. ACMI is with us today. Uh, there will be no public comment as this is a special meeting in the school committee for one purpose. Uh, Discussion and possible vote. Arlington Public Schools District Physician, Dr. Homan. Okay, so we have, um, I think, posted in your materials uh, the recommendation letter for uh, Dr. Marie Walsh Condon to serve as the Arlington Public Schools District Physician. Um, we received applications and conducted a search with uh, those with those applicants. Um, and Dr. Marie Walsh Condon is a member of the APS community, has served on the, or serves on the Board of Health and as a consultant for other town departments um, and is going to be a fantastic asset to our school system as a consultant for cases um, when we need them and has accepted our uh, offer for the school committee to consider her as the appointed APS school physician. And so, um, assuming that this is a uh, affirmative vote today, um, she would come on board and would serve in that capacity in the coming year. We have double checked with town council to make sure there's not a conflict of interest associated with the fact that Dr. Walsh Condon has served is, and is serving in other capacities in town so long as there's not um, compensation associated with more than one of those roles, which there is not. So um, with that, I'm happy to take any questions about process uh, or candidacy or a vote. Any questions from members of the committee? Seeing none, do I see a motion? Mr. Thielman, uh, you are muted. So move, sorry. Okay, Second. Mr. Thielman moves the appointment. Second by? Me. Ms. Morgan. Me. Vice Chair Morgan, any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, roll call vote. Ms. Exton? Yes. Mr. Cardin? Yes. Mr. Thielman? Yes. Ms. Morgan? Yes. Chair votes in the affirmative. That's a 5 nothing vote. I note that uh, Dr. Allison Ampey and Ms. Gittleson uh, are not available at this time, so uh, it is a 5 nothing vote. Uh, next, superintendent's update, uh, Dr. Homan. Okay, so I would love to share my screen, but I can't, um, and I'm not sure it's entirely necessary. You do have the slides that I'm, it's really, it's okay, Ms. Dickens. Um, I can talk through this. So you have the slides that I'm gonna walk through uh, in your materials posted in Novus, but I'll go through them quickly. 
Um, we have an administrator hiring update. I want to say welcome to our new leaders, and I have a couple of quick updates. Um, I had already told you about uh, the two new principals at Hardy and OMS, as well as a few assistant principals. We have a new K-12 director of ELA who has started and a new K-12 director of um, social studies. In addition to those, uh, we recently hired a new assistant principal at Pierce, Heidi Clement, and we're excited for her to begin her work at Pierce, and we will have an announcement very soon on the Thompson assistant principal. So that leaves us, oh, and um, our new assistant superintendent of finance and operations, Fran Gorski, will start on August 1st, and I am counting down the hours until he arrives, which I will explain further in a few minutes um, why that is. And the, that leaves the only open leadership search we have at the moment as director of finance. Um, we, we had completed that search and uh, submitted an offer, but our offer was uh, declined, and so we've reposted it, and we're working on gathering applications. Um, I will work with Mr. Gorski to determine what the next best steps are for the business office once he arrives, um, and whether or not there's any adjustments he wants to make to reporting structures or roles. Uh, that would be something that would, of course, come to the committee if we were to consider any adjustments. So um, with that, I'll launch into some business office updates. Uh, first of all, um, I want to acknowledge that the business office has been thinly staffed for a while now in the absence of a, an assistant superintendent of finance and operations. Our assistant director of finance at the time, Jose Farias, had taken over oversight of the finances. Um, he has resigned as well and we just recently had a retirement in accounts payable. So at the moment, um, I am supervising the business office and things are going okay. We have about a three week gap in between um, when Jose closed out and uh, when Mr. Gorski will arrive. We're getting uh, purchase orders through, we're ordering things for the start of the new school year. Um, and I have to hand it to my colleagues in the business office who have done an excellent job um, picking up things when needed, learning new things when needed, um, and I have learned quite a lot myself. Uh, we are in the process of closing out FY24 and finishing up the transfers so that the town can wrap up the budget for this year. And we uh, have filled the vacancy in accounts payable due to the retirement that I just mentioned as well. Uh, the new person will not be able to start until August 8th and we'll have an announcement out very soon as to who that is. But I, um, I want to thank Mr. Gorski for being on top of that hire even before he has arrived here in Arlington. And um, I also want to talk through a little bit of some of Mr. Gorski's first steps when he arrives on August 1st. So on August 1st, he'll have a number of meetings with folks here at Central Office. Uh, the second day, we're having a cabinet professional development retreat so that he can get to know the senior leadership team and we can get to know him and talk about how what projects everybody's working on this year and how he will plug into a lot of those projects. Um, he will be spending time immediately and ongoing doing some hiring, particularly for director of finance and establishing workflows for accounts payable, meeting with town colleagues, um, particularly Mr. McGee over on the town side, uh, the comptroller's office and the town manager's office. Making, we, we need to make some adjustments to the FY25 budget uh, that I've identified in the last couple of months. These are not major, they're mostly to operational budgets, but we want to make sure that um, we're uh, allocating things according to the sort of per pupil and programmatic needs of each school and so we're going to take another look at that and just make sure that we're feeling good about it if we have any transfers for you all to consider we'll do that um, once we know what they are he'll be establishing office expectations and doing some system streamlining and starting to think with me about how to build the fy26 budget so those are some of the, the opening entry activities that we've mapped out um, for mr gorski when he arrives uh, we're having a lot of fun here at the high school. Summer fun is here at the high school this year and using some of our incredible facilities. There's a picture um, in the slides that are posted in Novus of some of our students using the kitchen room, the cooking room downstairs and enjoying making some confetti cakes. Um, they're having a lot of fun in all kinds of different classes this year. There's been some LARPing going on out on the front lawn if you've driven by on Mass Ave this past couple of weeks. Uh, that is an activity that teaches a lot of team building and sort of rules of engagement that's great for students building their confidence and independence and leadership skills. So it's been a great summer so far. Our summer programs are 
off and running at Thompson, at Pierce, where ESY is, and we have a lot of students taking advantage as well of um, full day programming, and our EL programming is going on as well at Bishop or ML, uh, multilingual learner programming. So it's been an eventful summer with a lot of students in our schools, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I am considering some adjustments. We've been taking a look at METCO enrollments and how many students we can enroll to make sure that we come up to our typical enrollment and potentially welcome a few additional enrollees if we have the space available in a particular grade level. Uh, one of the things that we're taking a look at because we have been a little more pinched in enrollments at Hardy and Bishop of late um, and because kindergarten enrollments at Pierce in particular are tight right now, they're very close to um, our line if we consider some of the enrollments that are pending. Uh, we're, we're talking about whether or not it would make sense to consider having some METCO programming at Dallin or, and or bracket schools. So if you have any questions about that, I'm happy to talk with any of you about it. It's a recent conversation um, and we're mostly seeing right now if we have the interest and the student information that would allow us to do this. We have the space in kindergarten in particular at those two schools mm -hmm. to welcome some students and pull our METCO enrollment up to where it has been. And then if we wanted to do a little bit of expansion so that students can move in a larger cohort together that helps them feel a sense of belonging, then that might be worth considering doing. So any concerns or questions about that, don't hesitate to give me a call. Of course, this is a, um, a spot availability program, and so we wouldn't do this if it weren't in a section or space that we had the available resources and space for that student to join us. Um, we are working on our planning for opening day, our planning for August leadership workshop. We've established um, some ideas for themes for 24-25 uh, staff professional development uh, that aligns with all of the goals that we had set and that you had voted at the beginning of, or at the end of last school year. And we're looking forward to the start of the new school year. I've included enrollments in your packet and we're in the process this summer of trying to get some enrollment projections to further the work that we began in the community relations subcommittee talking about what we can do to shift some boundaries and buffer zones because of some overcrowding at Thompson, some space at some of the other schools. Right now, so far, the quotes that we've gotten for enrollment projections have been exceptionally high compared to what I'm used to seeing for this, um, and this is not an expense that we had budgeted. So I'm um, trying to get some more quotes. Mr. Coleman's working with us on this, and we're gonna see if we can uh, get some projections done for us relatively quickly that aren't going to uh, break the budget so I'll be in touch with more details on that once we get a little bit more information about what might be possible and what kind of timeline they could work on and that's all I'm happy to take any questions any questions from the committee yeah I just want to clarify Frank Gorski is going to be hiring the director of finance right that's his correct hire. that's his hire yeah okay. any other questions or comments Seeing them. I have one. Uh, oh, okay, Who, who's, uh, oh, Jane. Doc, uh, Jane Morgan, uh, Ms. Morgan. Oh, so for the, um, for the new enrollments, we, um, we don't have a wait list for, um, for AEA or AAA uh, child enrollments at this point. Is that correct? So we, correct, that is correct, yes. We, I do have, um, we're not at the limit we set in the new bargaining agreement, uh, but it is a space availability thing, and they indicate a preference for what school when they ask for their child to be able to be enrolled in the Arlington Public Schools. So I have told most folks who are on that list whether or not we're accepting their child. A couple have decided to wait because they want to know if they can get into the preferred school or not. Um, and so I'm still waiting to see if that's going to be possible. So I, a few are on hold into August, but for the most part, we do not have a wait list and we have told everybody who has requested and who we're able to place right now, whether or not they're been, they've been placed. We haven't said no to anybody yet. Gotcha. Okay. And we anticipate, like, we'll, we'll be sure that we have the slots that we've set aside for bargaining, whether or not they are used. Yeah, so we, yeah, we have the spots, but it's all about whether or not there's space in the grade level to accept the student. So if, for right. example, I am a staff member at the Audison and I want my kindergartner to go to Pierce right now, that's hard because it's, I, like, I can't say yes to that right now, given where the numbers are. Um, but 
I might reach out to that staff member, this is entirely hypothetical, and say, we have space at Bracket. Is that something that you're interested in? And they may say yes or no. So they, right now we have the spots in kindergarten. The question is where and whether or not the where matters to the parent. And if they, depending on whether or not they got after school care or can get it or what their circumstances are, they may or may not take the slot. But right now we have the space. The school piece is the part that people might be on the fence about. Great, okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure that we were, you know, meeting all of our promises around yep. that. I'm sure we are, so thank you. Okay. Um, I don't have an update on competitive grants. Okay, uh, excellent. Any other questions for the superintendent? Holler, because I can't see you. I don't see him there. I don't see you. You, you. You've got it. Okay. Next item is the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk are considered to be routine and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the committee so requests in which event the item will be considered in its normal sequence. We have warrant 24326, dated June 26, in the amount of $782,516.85. We have warrant 224343, uh, June 28th, in the amount of $4,213,392.97. We have warrant 24341, dated June 30th in the amount of $798,804.73. And we have warrant number 25020 on July 23rd in the amount of $248,064.10. Motion by. So moved. Uh, motion by Ms. Exton, second by. Just wait. Second. Uh, second by Mr. Thielman. Uh, all in favor? Uh, well, we got to do a roll call. Ms. Exton. Yes. Uh, Mr. Cardin. Yes. Mr. Thielman. Yes. Ms. Morgan. Yes. And the chair votes in the affirmative. That's a five nothing vote. Next is subcommittee liaison reports and announcements. Rather than going through the roll, raise your hand if you have something to add under this agenda item. Seeing no response, I'll to entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Mr. Thielman, seconded by? Second. Uh, Ms. Exton, on a roll call vote. Ms. Exton? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cardin? Yes. Mr. Thielman? Yes. Vice Chair Morgan? Yes. And the chair votes in the affirmative. Five nothing vote. We are adjourned at 3.05 p.m. Thank you for making time on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Thank you. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.